Hello, and welcome to another episode of Pause for Payments. I am Christy Duncan, and I'm so delighted to have two really bright, amazing young women with me here today, Yasmin Ulrich and Jadine Foon. Yasmin is Partnership Strategic Insights Leader at Western Union based in Denver. And Jadine is a Product Management Specialist at MasterCard based in Singapore. Welcome, Yasmin and Jadine. Thank you for having us, Christy. Thanks for having us, Christy. Pleasure to be here. Yeah. Today, we're going to talk about mentorship and why it's so important in building careers and how Yasmin and Jadeen in particular have benefited. They have been paired within the Women in Payments mentorship program that we run. So it's a good opportunity to share with our audience what their perspectives are and their experience to date. So let's get started. So let's start by introducing yourselves uh, to our audience. Tell us each briefly what you do and how do you how did you get to this point in your careers? Do you want to start us off, Jadine? Sure. Um, yeah, so I'm Jadine. Hi, everybody. It's uh, great to be here to speak to you today. Um, like Christy mentioned, I'm currently a product management specialist with MasterCard Asia Pacific. So I'm based out of our Singapore office. So I started my journey with MasterCard after I graduated from university. I was part of our graduate development program where I had the opportunity to rotate around to different organizations within the company for the first two years before falling in love with commercial payments. And here I am today. And this actually marks my third year with MasterCard. So I actually got to know about women in payments through MasterCard as well, where we were given a free pass to attend the Asian Symposium last year. And that's where I found out about this amazing platform and opportunity to join the Women in Payments Global Mentorship Program. So luckily I applied and I was selected and I got the privilege to be paired with my amazing mentor, Yasmin. And that marks the start of our mentoring relationship. Awesome. That's a great story, Jadine. Thanks for sharing. Yasmin, do you want to tell us how you got to where you are today in your career? Yeah, totally. So I was born and raised in Germany. And I've actually started working with Western Union in 2012. So it's been quite a while for now. And just last year, I relocated to our Denver headquarters. And it's, it's been an amazing experience to pack up your stuff, leave a whole country and everything you had behind to start a new chapter in life. So with that move, I had I almost felt like a kid in a candy store, right? Because I have the headquarters, all of a sudden I have hundreds of colleagues around me and, and really impressive leaders I could learn from and explore more what's happening within Western Union. So I just recently evolved into my new role, as you correctly said, Partnership Strategic Insights. I'm leading that now. Previously to that, I've been with Treasury to manage our bank account network across EMEA. So right now I'm on, again in a really exciting learning phase. I'm working with a very dynamic and highly intelligent team. And with that move, I reached out to you, Christy, because I was part of another diversity network in Germany. And with the move, I wanted to kind of keep putting up the flag and keep up the good fight for that. And ask you, hey, Christy, I would love to join Women in Payments. What can we do? And this is how so much more started. And at the same time, I also applied to be a mentor now I'm here with Jadine. It's, mentorship is actually one of my favorite topics. That's why I'm so excited we're talking about this today. There's so much value in it. I've always embraced the concept of mentorship. So yeah, I'm really excited about the conversation we're having today. Well, thanks to both of you for your participation and support. And hopefully we'll be able to get some absolutely awesome benefit out of this. Um, which takes me to the question of why is mentorship important? And um, it'll be interesting to get both of your perspectives, but Yasmin, do you wanna kind of kick us off on that discussion? Why is it important for you as a mentor? And then we'll get Jadine to talk about why as a mentee it's important. Yeah, totally. So as, as far as I can think back in my career, I always had mentors. I was very lucky to to have support and really open-minded people around me who were willing to share their knowledge and their insights that they gained over the experience of their career, right? So 
I think the concept really benefits both parties in a way. The mentor can always gain so much new and fresh perspectives from a mentee who may not have that one-sided look because sometimes I feel like when people work in maybe the same company or even the same department for a long time, you start kind of, kind of decreasing your growth mindset and you kind of see what you've known for the last years. So the mentee can really bring you fresh and new perspectives and a lot to think about. And on the flip side, the mentee, that's the overall goal, right? Should benefit from the mentor's perspectives and experience and, and be able to be advised and guided by them. So I think it's a very valuable relationship. And I personally think probably because I always had amazing mentors, I do want to pass that on to the next generation, to upcoming talent. And it doesn't even have to be the younger generation, but I've recently even had women who are older than me reach out and, and wanting to learn. So kind of mentorship dynamics don't have rules in my mind. I think everything is possible. If there's anyone you can learn something from, you can make that a mentor-mentee relationship, right? So I think we do have them probably way more than we are aware of. But once you commit to a formal mentorship relationship, I think it's very good if you, if you have a common goal, some kind of consistency and ground rules. So yeah, for me personally, I've, I've, just from Jadine herself, I've learned so much in the last year. It's incredible. So I'm very happy that she's very committed to the journey, just as I am. And thanks to Women in Payments too, because you created the guidelines and framework around that and you paired us. We would have never met without the Women in Payments <laughs> Mentorship true. Program. Yeah, <laughs> that's very true. Uh, yeah, I, I really love putting those pairs together. It literally brings tears to my eyes because I think, oh, this is so cool. Like they're gonna, hopefully, um, usually it works out, not always, but we try <laughs> to make it, uh, work out so that you do get that nice um, relationship for that year. And uh, it's, you know, it's a learning experience on both sides. Jadine, tell us. Yeah. <laughs> and it's hard to do when it's just on paper. Some people I know, but certainly not everybody. Um, and I think you do have to come to it with a little bit of an open mind because you don't know what kind of experience it's going to be or what your counterpart is going to be like. Uh, but Jadine, do you want to tell us what your experience has been like? Right. I think it's been a beautiful match. And like you said, Christy, coming in with an open heart, open mind, but also coming prepared is, is quite important. Um, I think I wanted to share a little bit from a mentee's perspective. So I think like what Yasmin was sharing, a lot of the senior executive um, that I've spoken to all shared how mentoring played a very instrumental role in their development and their growth in their entire career journey. So I see myself as on a journey to build my own panel of mentors as well. And as a mentee, I see mentoring as a source of wisdom and guidance, as a way for me to widen my network, but also gain new perspectives. Because like Yasmin mentioned, like after a while, you sort of hang out with the same group of people. And sometimes when you have a new mentor from across the globe, you get to really introduce yourself to a new perspective and point of view. Yeah. So. Um, I think being in a mentoring relationship also motivates me and makes me want to make the most out of it. So it challenges me to be more deliberate and commit myself to do more planning and taking more concrete steps to further my own career growth and development. So I've been in a mentoring relationship with Yasmin for the past year or so. And I must say that I have been very inspired by her persistent appetite for knowledge. And she's really willing to connect and ready to connect with new people. So um, I think she always encourages me to think outside of the box and uh, to explore new ways that we can add value to our relationship, um, such as, and it's evident in how you can see we are sort of collaborating in other new initiatives as well, um, such as co-authoring a LinkedIn article together, or even being on this session together right now discussing about mentorship. So I think all these are ways that we try to explore how we can go beyond just a sit down and talking relationship. And this is sort of our unique dynamics and our unique rapport that we have built. So in my own career development journey, I hope to apply this same curiosity and willingness to experiment to benefit my future work projects. And I'm sure it will also create a positive effect on my relationships, both professionally and in my personal life. And that's fantastic. Well, we're going to take some of these tips and add them to our mentor toolkit. This is fantastic. Um, 
Thanks for that, Jadine. Yasmin, you've had some mentors in, in your career, and I wonder if you might share with us what, you know, how they helped you throughout, you know, different stages in your career. And did you have just one or did you have different ones throughout your career? Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, absolutely. I would love to. And just to take it a bit step further in my life, um, prior to joining the global payments world, I was actually a tennis professional. And that's already when I started having mentors, when I played tennis and I was literally 10, 11 years old, I had a few who were literally tennis professionals and very highly ranked in Germany who mentored me. So from a very young age on, I've been aware of the concept and I've, I've always embraced it because I've gained so much from that. And once I joined the banking world and especially the payments world, I've always had mentors as well. So moving from tennis to corporate life, I've adopted the same concept and I've made it a point to always have a very diverse set of mentors. So those were people within my company, externals, and different departments from different countries, just like Jadine said, just her and I talking gave me so much knowledge as well. So, you know, you can piece all these different aspects together that ultimately help, help you grow and shape your own mindset. So, like I said, I've been extremely fortunate to have those different mentors. And one of them, by the way, is, was also Laura. Our, our relationship started, Laura McGordy, she's also in the Global, Co Global Community Council for Women and Payments. She started off as being my mentor. Yeah. So as you can see, like any relationships in life, mentor relationships are not stagnant. They are very dynamic. They can evolve into different things and they don't have to be just a mentor relationship, how it is on paper. You can really be creative, have fun with it, try new things like Jadine and I do. And if I can share just three things, how I think my mentors, if I, looking, if I look at the bigger picture, helped me in my professional growth was the first one. They've definitely shared a lot of knowledge. And that was extremely important to me when I started my career, because you come in and you don't have that knowledge yet that they've compiled over decades. So it's extremely helpful to have those people openly share that with you. That already is, is so much. The second one is they've invited me to the table. I've joined meetings and conferences with senior leaders at an early age on in my career as well that I would have never been able to, to join and witness and hear what they're talking about and what their thoughts are and, and what's, what's being discussed in the room. So that's very high value. And the, the last one I wanna share is they've always challenged me and they've always kept me on my toes. And that over time also made sure that I have a growth mindset and I don't fall victim to certain patterns or traps that we may have in corporate life when we, when we have one-sided perspectives only. So it really keeps you with an open mind, on your toes, new perspectives, different thoughts, different thinking, and new ideas. And it's just wonderful to have those mentorships and also reflect back on how you started and how it evolves over time. It's amazing. That's a really great story, Yasmin. And those are powerful learnings. Uh, thank you for sharing. I, I think this also dovetails a little bit with the concept that someone introduced to us at one of our US events a few years ago, and she called it her personal board of directors. Yes. So if you think of yourself as, you know, I am Christy Duncan Company, mm -hmm. and I have a board of directors, and they may change through the years, but they are people, and you might hopefully. <laughs> Yeah, you might want to pick them, certainly because you respect or them and their opinions, but not necessarily because they're going to have the same opinions or perspectives as you will, um, but that you can have a healthy debate and you can hear different thoughts on, you know, different situations that you may be encountering in your life and in your career. So I, I love that concept. That's really interesting. Um, Jadine. You've been in this mentee position with Yasmin for a while now. Um, is there any message that you want to give the people in our audience who might be considering finding a mentor? Right. 
Christy. Yes, I definitely want to send out a message. I think my message for them would be to really go for it. Um, that's because I have found that I have personally benefited immensely from my mentoring relationships so far. Um, like you said, uh, all of us need to assemble, I think, our own board of directors and there can be different mentors that act as different roles. Maybe some might be your cheerleader, some might be your sounding board. And I think that as someone who is in a very early stage of my career, and I think a lot of you guys watching would, can relate as well, I think we encounter a lot of things for the first time. And I found that it's so helpful to just have somebody there, uh, be it your mentor or a senior, who is ready to offer some advice and guidance whom you can turn to as your sounding board. Because chances are, it's very likely that they have been through something similar, if not identical. And you can definitely leverage on their experience and tap on their learnings. So I think to give a very simple example, I think I, like many others, started out wanting to um, build my professional network but I was unsure how to get started. And I was reached out to, I reached out to Yasmin at that time and she managed to share a lot of her own experiences and gave me very concrete advice on how to get started. And I think all this is because she has also been there and done that herself and she has had to explore and trial and error on what worked and what did not work for her. And I was able to tap on that knowledge. And I think the best part is that mentoring goes beyond just generic advice. Like what Yasmin mentioned, you're building and nurturing a relationship with somebody. And so as, as depending on how well you know yourself and how well you enable your mentor to know you, then they will also be able to tailor made and make recommendations and give guidance that is more aligned to your career goals, your values, as well as personality. And I find that that's my greatest takeaway. That's, that's great um, perspective. Jadine, I love that you get out of it only as much as you put into it. And uh, clearly you're both putting a lot into it. So you're getting a lot out. And that's, you know, that's like a lot of relationships in life, you know, with our families, with our friends, with, you know, of other of our work colleagues is that when we do invest the time, then we generally will get, get the, uh, the positive effects on the other side. So, Yes, I mean, you've run this mentorship relationship and clearly you've had a number of mentors along the way in your career. And I love that you've actually taken the leap to pick up house and home and move to another continent that takes a lot of inner strength and um, persistence and, you know, motivation to do that. Not everybody could or would do that, but I think it's fantastic that you've done that and you learn so much doing it. It's uh, uh, something I did once in my life or well, a couple of times and uh, always found them to be really beneficial experiences. But when it comes to mentoring, can you suggest ways for our audience how what you would recommend they do consider to try to get the most out of their mentoring relationship? Yeah, totally. I think there, there are many things that you can do. And I want to start this answer off by saying that it's an absolute honor for someone, no matter who that is, to trust you with their career development and really taking the time in order to speak to you and ask about your knowledge and your experience. It's an honor. It's really a privilege to, to be able to guide and advise another person on that, no matter who that is, right? So what I've really learned throughout this, because Christy, this is actually the first time that I'm officially a mentor. And therefore, I also thank you for the opportunity to do that because I've never really seen myself as, as an official mentor before. But I thought, you know, I'm at the stage in my career now where I do want to take this on and get my feet wet when it comes to being an official mentor. So Jadina, I hope I'm doing good for you. You're like the first one. But um, <laughs> what, I, what I really learned from our first session on actually was the fact that this is truly about the mentee. So you really have to sit down and completely remove yourself to begin with and understand their own position in their career and in life and their specific goals for this mentorship session. So what Jadine and I have done in the first session, we defined some ground rules. How do we wanna work together? How do we collaborate? And those can be basics such as, we want to show up, we want to be consistent, we want to be on camera when we talk, 
But to go on something way more meaningful as we do want to be as transparent as possible and our conversations are purely confidential. So this is a safe space for us to discuss challenges, um, situations, next steps or ideas. So we can really go into this and feel confident and trust each other, right? So I think that was very important. And then the fact that Jadine sat down and did her preparation work, by the way, I've learned so much from her just by how prepared she is because I'm more of a spontaneous person and I jump into sessions and I do prepare, but she writes everything down and she keeps track and she kept us on track the entire year and she, she's still doing it. So that alone was a huge learning for me. And I'm not doing that in my professional life too. And it, it's very helpful. It made me grow there too. And just seeing how she does it was very inspiring. So I think you have to have a goal. You, you have to work towards, you have to constantly check in strategize how you get there, adjust along the way if you need to, or even grow beyond the goals. I think that what, that's what we've partially done. We've, we've explored totally new territory with you now, with Pause for Payments, with Christy. We've shared a joint LinkedIn article together. All that stuff was not defined in our first session, but we evolved there along the way. So there's a lot you can do. And I think what's, what's really the most important is to be engaged, be invested, be thoughtful and be mindful with each other. That's for both mentee and mentor. Fantastic. Those are all really, really great insights. And I, I am so delighted that you both have really grown throughout this relationship that you've had over the last little while and um, are learning from each other. That's what it's all about. It's, you know, it, it, mm -hmm. it is two way exchange and there's mm -hmm. so much that you know, we at later stages in our career can learn from the young rising stars like Janine who are coming up and, you know, they're the digital natives and they've got all these cool insights and perspectives and hard work ethics that uh, we can learn from. That's fantastic. Janine, where do you see yourself in five years in your career? Hmm. Thanks for asking, Christy. I think in the next few years, my focus would still be on continuing to build my network and deepen my knowledge and experience in the commercial payment space, because I hope to work towards establishing myself as a subject matter expert in this field. Um, in five years' time, I hope to be able to work towards leading a team instead of um, just being an individual contributor. But in the meantime, definitely the journey to build my panel of mentors will not stop. I'll continue doing that. And I also would like to pay it forward if there's an opportunity to participate, to mentor anyone. Uh, as long as opportunity arises, I'm going to go for it. Fantastic. I love that. You know, be bold and set goals and just go for it. That's fantastic. Yasmin, do you have thoughts about where you'd like to see yourself five years from now? Yeah, maybe in another country again, because like you said, that's a very big learning experience. Um, actually, no, I do like it here. So I do want to, the same thing, I want to lead a bigger team, get more experience when it comes to, to officially being a leader, because for myself personally, I don't see leadership tied to a particular role or position, or how many people are your direct reports, but I think all of us can lead every single day. Um, I... I want to continue to explore and, and be open-minded because just as, if anything, COVID now has taught us, the world can so dramatically change within a few weeks or a few months. So what's, what's very important, and I want to keep that going, I want to keep learning, I want to learn from others, pass it on, I want to stay adaptive, meet more people, network, learn from them, and really ultimately what my main goal is every day when I wake up, I just want to be the best version of myself today that I can be. And hopefully along the way, I can help others do the same in any kind of way. So that alone keeps me going, keeps me motivated. And I'm so excited for all the change that's coming up. The payments industry is, is so rapidly changing and evolving. It is so exciting. So I think for, for all of us in that industry, it is really, really key to keep ourselves educated on new technologies coming up, new business models coming up and ultimately understanding what our clients want because the customer needs are constantly changing and evolving. Now there's the gig economy that's 
that's totally exploding, unlike we've seen pre-COVID. So how can we help facilitate all of that just with payments? So there's, there's a lot of change coming up. I'm excited for that. I'm excited to also see what Women in Payments has coming up along the way. I know we're planning to grow and expand more. I'm super curious to witness Jadine's growth. She's, she's so intelligent and driven and, and organized and smart and at the same time, such a good human being. I just find it so rewarding just to see her grow in that past year. It's wonderful to see that. So I'm really excited about so many things in the future. Well, both your energy is just so inspiring for me just sitting here listening to you. So thank you so much for sharing. This has been a fabulous discussion. I love what I'm hearing, the whole concept of mentors and how they can share knowledge and invite you to the table and challenge you to think differently, think outside your everyday, you know, um, box, if you will. Jadine, you're your recommendation to the mentees and the rising stars out in our audience to go for it and, um, you know, find mentors as a sounding board and being able to be open and build that relationship. But you also had some good, good thoughts on how to set ground rules for building that relationship. You know, what do you want to get out of it? How can we create a safe space? Mm -hmm for us to, to really um, put a lot into it in a trusted way, building that, that trust and, and setting goals is so important to this kind of relationship. I am really looking forward to seeing Jadine as a subject matter expert and a team lead in perhaps not even five years. Uh, that'll be fantastic. And I look forward to congratulating you on LinkedIn when that happens, hopefully maybe even in person. And Yasmin, goodness knows the sky's the limit. You just keep growing and, and uh, it's been fantastic to see your career progression just in the short time that I've known you. So thank you both for sharing your insights. It's been great discussion. Thank you so much, Christy. Thank you, Jadim. Thanks, Christy. And thanks, Yasmin. It's been a pleasure. Yeah, it's awesome. I'm going to encourage all of our audience to join us online for our many other Pause for Payments webinars, where we host uh, amazing women like Jadine and Yasmin from around the world in the payments industry to have inspiring discussions about careers and about what's going on in the industry. And thank everybody for listening. Mm -hmm.